Hello everyone, my name is, name is Freeing Gamer, her, and, well, if you've been watching my playthrough, you notice how no one's actually done a proper, like, analysis of the, th the mod itself, never has, like, effectively talked about it. So I am going to provide some hints, tips, and other nice little tricks to breaking down on how the mod works, and how to utilize some of the things to your advantage. Uh, you can see I messed around with some mods, some of the commands in the background. Anyways, first things first, I wish to break down the items. There are a handful of weapons and armor as well. We'll get to the armor a bit more when it's about weapons. So I'll just put it right here in the meantime. And there are three new weapons that are added to, to the mod pack. The TS shield, CS shield, and the TSC e baton, un, and staff, uh, respectively. All three of these weapons act like proper weapons and can be utilized as such. The shield, as for example, can be used as a shield. It also auto retaliates on enemies that attack up. Up close, so if I can get this latex beast to attack, see, it does damage. The baton also oh, does the same thing too, it does damage. However, all these weapons have one special property attached to them. They stun a target briefly, which does a good majority of damage. It, although they don't deal a whole lot, it is noticeable. If I can get him to attack me again, come on, do it, do it. You can see on the edges of my screen, in some unique eye effect is there. That is transfer damage, as I like to refer to it as. If you've been watching my playthrough, you know what it, how it handles. If I get hit a few more times, it becomes more and more noticeable. Come on. Uh, and if I was the right player model, it would actually be visible on me. Which I might as well game mode creative myself, of just to swap out the latex beast. I won't be showing any of the other mods, but I will we'll, I will kill this latex beast, just so I can, can showcase it. Showcase it on, more visibly on my model. Also, I'll stand at the edge. I also got a notification before I do that. So, come on, target me. Are you seriously not going to attack? So I'll let him hit me a couple of times, and then I'll get out of this. this. As you can see, it's actually visible on my player model. So let me go ahead and like tap out real quick. As you can see, it actually shows up on the sides of my screens. After a while, it will dissipate away. Hey, but you all know what, what we're actually kind of here, here for. You want to know how, how to properly transfer yourself and change into the various latex creature types. Oops. So, back to survival. First of all, the latex base. You can get these from various latex beasts, however, some of them have better drops than others, so let's kill this dark latex beast. And it didn't drop anything. Fantastic. Look, you'll need, need a blood syringe, a latex beast, and whatever resources are ne necessary for it. 
Alright, so I'll go ahead and grab these real quick. If, so, if you're wondering how to use these, you hold right mouse. Ow. Eh. That's new. Uh, will this kill me? Yes! <clears throat> Anyways. I guess that makes sense. And and that was, uh, embarrassing. In to make a latex base, you need a syringe with the proper re to change yourself into a latex beast. You need to have a infuser, which is this thing here. We'll go ahead and put these away. You can also use the shield as, well, a shield. Upon selecting the latex beast, beast you want, I forgot the salmon. And, and you select which one you want, either through here or manually crafting it. And you'll notice, hey, where's... Where's the thingy? Well, you need the blood syringe from before. Uh, you want to grab the syringe itself and put it here. Uh, and, well, you have your... But something isn't right. It's not purified yet. And there's a second thing you need to do. You need to purify it using this machine in here. Upon right-clicking it and then putting it here, er, you then need to wait for it er, to well purify. However, er, while it's going ahead and doing that, I might as well showcase mention a bit about the armor. These two pieces of armor. You can't wear them like normal armor, they'll simply just pop right off. Oh. One... I'll bring them up when relevant. And this here is a specialized save point. You can't sleep when interacting with it, but right in it will save your respawn point. So if I go all the way over here... Here, do slash kill and respawn. I'll spawn relatively nearby this thing if it's not, not destroyed or obscured. This thing's taking a bit of time. Well, let's do that. Uh, I can choose the chance for items. There are. Six, six of these in the game, all of which do different things. I'll show them off later. Wait, I forgot also one more thing as well. Crud. Here's the speaker. See, it's emitting from the speaker. Yep, here's also some other things, which I'll let them speak for themselves. Anyways... Is now it's purified. You think you can use it now? No. No. You need to use it on an IV rack. Now, oh, the mod has had its plenty of changes. But one thing to note. More notification. Hold on. Hold on. Coming. I'm staying in the call mainly just to get my video done, and then once I'm done, I can just undefined. And everything else will be done there. Anyways. Is you want to have it on the right side here. 
right, you want to right click on it to to prepare it and, and yeah and, and then then right click on the bed now you don't have to wait till it's nighttime it's like broad daylight you want to sleep on the bed which I didn't earn the achievement for all right, all right. and once you wake up automatically you should you'll be in a in your new latex beast form you gonna you gonna jump today hello oh never mind oh yep and now you're a latex creature your UI gets your inventory menu and everything associated with your UI gets changed slightly. When controlling a latex beast, pressing R will by default will open up this menu here. You can see here's some nice little things and stuff. You can also utilize items in in your other hands. And that's as a squid dog as an example. Well, however to be expected, you're not expected to dual wield these. So say, hey, I want to. You say, a hey, utilize something else. You can press R and click switch hands, and your items will will be moved to your other arm slots. You can also use them as a small storage as well. Oh, but I wouldn't recommend using them as those. Now, now, there, now, as demonstration, some latex beasts have abilities, like the ability to create ink balls as a squid dog. Both variants can do this. Oh, hold on. Uh, uh. And, and you can utilize this. I missed. Hold still. To transfer enemies from a distance. Come on. Like that. And now you have a new friend. You also gain health back as well, which is another benefit you have extra. If you have plus, you can grab on enemies. Oh. Ah. 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 You slow down. Slow down. Ah. I want to show a grab. Ah. Like it's a little difficult. Yeah, and once you get a successful grab, that happens. I don't know why they die, but you do obtain a few new abilities. A bunch of status effects as well. Here it is in gameplay. You also gain hunger back, like I think, but I haven't noticed. Anyways. Now you might be wondering, hey, how do I untransfer myself? You do need changed plus if... <laughs> If you don't have it, you will will have to use console commands. And switch to change yourself back. I'll need to refer to this book here. Yeah, which you can also manually craft after those. It kind of depends on if it's the left or right changes, depending on what happens. And you need to have have this thing. You've seen it? You'll change change back to being human. Anyways...
Now, I won't be showing all the forums. As you can see, there's a lot of them here. There's some with abilities more useful than others, and others not so much. Now, now if you happen to say, I don't know, get transformed into a, a text beast that doesn't have, have legs, you'll notice that your leg, your armor slots change. This is where, where those new pieces of armor come into play. See? Strangely, there is graphics for for the lower pieces of armor, which is nice. Which is nice. They changed how armor works a little. Oh, I think as well. It's more of like a unique replacement to normal armor. Every latex beast, of course, has their own abilities and benefits, as all of them act differently. Here's a demonstration of the untransfer command of what it does. Just changes you back to normal. Oh. Oh, and you can still wear normal armor, of course. I uh, forgot to point that out. Uh, no, it's not just the player who can actually transfer villagers. The AI latex pieces can also do the same thing. Oh gosh. So, so I want to just make this this golden. So I'm actually going to make a bit of an so I can go in and out. chance to drop drop a latex base ace and on rarer occasions drop the resources that are necessary to make them as a as a syringe so you can transfer yourself well as you can see they each dropped the good majority of their resources necessary and if I go to here now let's see the infuser uh, or the blood syringe <laughs> Can't seem to find it. I also forgot one more thing to showcase that I totally forgot to put here. Here, that being the laser emitter. It's another redstone item. And I'm and so I need to go grab uh, some a redstone and a lever. 
when placed down, oh, when placed down, depending on its direction will depend on where the beam goes. The beam by itself is completely harmless. You can run through it at will. However, if you're wearing any of these two items on hand, especially if they have Curse of Rage, and you run through them, yeah, you take a lot of transfer damage. And you'll probably end up, well, having that happen. And we'll get to that text there, and it'll spawn a latex beast. East where you died at. Once again, dependent the stats. The item itself also gets destroyed in the process. This in. Now, it works with just about any of the, the pants types. I'm... Eh, kind of. It doesn't seem to activate for these in particular. As seen right here, I'm like trying to pass right through and nothing's happening. Also, I got notification. Good. It's also my birthday today as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's more dependent on a timer. But considering the number of latex beasts, I won't be able to show them all. But I will show the transfer items, which change you. The traffic cone is the... Yep. Is the next one. You put it on your head, and it does gradual transfer damage. However, if you're quick enough, you can take it off. <coughs> Unless it has Curse of Binding, then, well, GG. You're gonna get transferred. The dark latex masks also share the same property. You put them on. Darn it! I was literal seconds away. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, that. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Oh yeah, you can't right mouse to put them on, you have to manually put them on. Am I quick enough? Yes. You can maintain your conscience, and you can also some... As every latex beast has abilities. Now, it's not guaranteed that you'll, you'll get the minigame. Like, I'll go ahead and... And try again. And, and, and it's usually provided with the nausea effect, like dependent on the timing. I mean, so if you're quick enough, you can actually really end up, up reacting to it. it. Now it doesn't happen with all latex beasts, as demonstrated with some of them. So I'll go ahead and transfer again. And, and, yep, saved myself from elf again. And, and some latex beasts are stronger than others, meaning that if you get it transferred by them, it's very likely that you will you won't win in the encounter. Er, example, hypno cats, which I'll show these air ducts a bit later. Er, as if I go ahead and get some distance from him. And so I'll let him transfer me. As you can see, every latex beast has their abilities. Oh, he gives you slowness. 
Can you transfer me? I don't like to deal with the nausea as much as others do. Can't I change it in the settings? No, I can't. Like, some, like this one. You just die. I and a new one is coming. I don't know why it didn't happen there. Uh, I think this is the blind ones. Yeah. Considering it's not guaranteed on all of them, that does mean in, even if you're quick and if you're careful and you do end up stepping on in an activation, you're not going to get the RNG. I think this one's also another one as well that doesn't. <laughs> Ah, I was a bit delayed. Also, pups. Lots- Oh my gosh! That spawned a ton of them! Yeah, you do need to be very quick. Yep, and... And now I'm one of them. I still wear normal armor, which is surprising. What does it look like? <laughs> yeah, you're clearly not meant to hold items. It's one of those more unique ones. And that plays, that has special gimmicks and stuff. How am I gonna clear this out now? No. They also lack sounds, so that means I can just type in kill all entities. And it clears it out. I am trying to find one that doesn't have the option for you to just resist. It's, but basically, if you don't have the conscience, and you just die, and you can respawn. And also, not all crystals can transfer the player. I also, there are some other gimmicks in this as well, like territory spreading and stuff. If, like if I walk into this crystal, nothing happens because it's a gray one, and if you played the actual game, you'll know gray crystals can transfer you from the smaller ones. And now that doesn't mean you're completely safe. If you played the game as well, you'll know that red and green ones, alongside the special dark one, can also transfer the player. Here, which I'll also showcase as well. Oh, that they deal transfer damage if you walk into them. See? However, they don't do it instantly, like if I get hit again. And only the small, well, greens don't transfer, compared to See? Some of them, you can't keep your conscience if you, you take a hit from them. Though this is one of the few rare latex beasts that doesn't transfer you. I'm still just gonna... Do that. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I've never had that happen before. Uh, is it just like straight up RNG if you don't die instantly? No, I guess that crystal's the only. One well, as all others do transfer you, you like this one. Also, for a split second, I saw the resist.
assist transfer. Here's the puddle. It doesn't transfer you immediately, but it does deal a handful of transfer damage. It, though, for some reason, the puddle stays around. It doesn't disappear or afterwards. It's which... It, okay, bye. Hey, the pillar just like straight up. Ah, there. Also, touching the pillar does deal a lot of transfer damage. Oh, Jesus! This let me go back into creative. That actually scared me. Hey, where's my, where's my gun? Un and also, you can see they're spreading their territory. See if you walk into it. It's another. I think that was a unique animation. I think something. Uh, what happened here? Something happened. Now, I'm curious. This, the interaction is never really seen in game. I wonder. Oh, they will absolutely. Will they trade off as they seem to be hitting each other at roughly the same time? Yeah, as. You can see they can spawn their own allies in. And so I'm also just gonna blow these guys up. It's mentioned in game, and and yeah, it does show oh, the attention to detail that the develop the mod devs did. And it, there are also liquid dark latex and, and white latex, though so I haven't exactly it's other than. In speed differences, as it's in the liquid state and therefore isn't nearly as different as the others. You can step in it, which it will deal transfer damage, which regardless of type. And by options, which yeah, I was successful. Will this also hurt me? Yeah, it does. Will this have a special death text? Oh yeah, keep form is on. Um, that's one of the unique commands that is added in, so... So I'll go ahead and, like, transfer. There. Also, some latex beasts have this filtering on it. Huh, that's interesting. It doesn't... So it doesn't deal damage to you... You, if you are a dark... If you're a white... Eight latex. But strangely, 
Apparently, Dark Latex can't do the same thing to you. You. Yeah. Like, look, see, it does damage. It has even unique death text. Next player name was dissolved by white, white latex. X switch is interesting. You learn new things. Anyways, there's one unique food item that being an orange. I won't be mentioning plus. That's because it's its own, its own unique thing that deserves its a smaller its own video. Oh, that deserves its own talk. As well as there are some unique mobs that can't be spawned via through spawn eggs. Eggs. So if I go into changed, change that being entity container, which is actually a cardboard box. There's also the behemoth. The latex behemoth, this one of the boss mobs, though I've never encountered it in vanilla under normal conditions, and nor have I fought it before. The boss has gotten a chance to even kill them, but your main character, which is the only thing that takes damage. So, killing it does seem to drop up quite a few resources for you to have. So, I'll go ahead and summon it again. And just to see how, how it handles encountering a player. Oh, if they get too far, they stop, and the behemoth can't do anything. Unless you get too close. Change me to one of these. I think it regens. I'll go ahead and set myself back to creative. Summon. And. That's one of them, of course. I want to see as well if there's any others before ending off. There is the special latex, which doesn't spawn in naturally. It's one of those, like, specially coded ones that do their own special things in particular. There are gas particles, which, as well, I haven't seen them yet, so I don't know what they do. I believe, as well... What the heck? Is that the... Yeah, which is its own, own little projectile. You can also place it down on its own and right-click to spawn your own, own swarm. 